Hello there, this is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I'm doing my follow-up Friday. So, um, I am getting ready for Open House, which is tomorrow. So, tomorrow after Open House, which runs 9 to 1, I will go through and show you everything. I'll do a little video tomorrow. So, uh, it'll be a little Saturday surprise um, <laughs> to you and to me. Um, <laughs> So today I started playing with, um, while I was putting some things together, the Artistic Mix Decorative Masks, which I haven't really paid too much attention to in the past, but I used one today and it was so much fun. And I thought, I'm going to show that. I love our brushes. So I have a, like a million of them. I mark each one of them with a different color um, using my post-it notes that are sticky all over. So I, I just kind of leave it because I do so many with that. So I'm just going to play with that a little bit today and show you these masks. So you might overlook this in the new catalog, but do not because I think they're going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to turn the camera around. Here we go. Plus we have Hostess Club coming up at 3. So everything is, you know, busy. We went for a little ride here. I, I forgot to warn you ahead of time. I hope you're all okay with that. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do the decorative masks. <clears throat> they are in the catalog, our new catalog, Artistic um, Mixed Decorative Mats. I should look at, where's my book? I was going to look at what page they were on, but I don't have my book with me. So let's just carry on. <laughs> Let me just carry on. So they come like this, and I'll show you the mat. I, sh I will show them to you. So um, this is kind of cool. So this one here has these two pieces that punch out. So you could put this down with, I would like use removable um, sticky um, tape or something. And then you could like sponge around them, which we'll do. Or you can sponge in the center where your focus would be. So that's kind of fun. Just going to set these over to the side. Okay. And then this is the one I used today which I thought was really fun. And what I did is I, I put a little bit of um, uh, washi tape and held it down. Actually, I used a post note, I think, but you could use washi tape, post note, whatever. I would hold it down. Um, and then I went with three different colors and kind of went over the whole thing. So you get this cool pattern. But the other thing that's really neat is that then they have this one here which is kind of cool. And guess what? Oh, there it is. It's on, so here it is. It's on page 128 at the bottom. The wow factor right down here. Really fun. Um, but when I was just looking at them showing Julie, they have this one, then they have this one, and this one would overlay this one. So that's what I was gonna try right now. I think that would be really cool. So this one, would go over the flowers. I think that's kind of fun. And then we have a plaid. And then there's another plaid. I could go this way, have them both on, right? Oh boy, engage the brain. But then you could go over with another color and have that. Wouldn't that be cool? So I haven't done it yet, so this is the first one. So I put... Um, paper down here just so I could see exactly where my um, cardstock started and ended. So I'm going to put it just like this and then I'm just going to pick a mat. I'm going to pick one. Let's do this one first. So I'm just going to set this down and I'm sort of looking to see where it ends on my, so this is five by three and three quarter. It would be like the front layer uh, on a card or the inside layer. Um, I just wanted to get, see if I can set it down where I have the ends kind of covered, um, the edges kind of covered so I don't lift up on that when I'm doing it. Okay, so there's that. Now I have some washi tape I'm gonna put down here just to hold it on the corners. Of course, it's Stampin' Up! Washi Tape. Here we go. And so we'll do this one, and then we'll try the flowers over it. We'll see what happens. So here's my base. And my favorite I've been using a lot of is my 
um, right here, the Tahitian Tide. I love that color. I love it. So I've been going over that. So I have our brushes that we sell. They come in, a, I think, a three-pack. And I'm just going to sponge right over the top. So I'm just rubbing it on here. So you could do different colors, whatever, and I'm just going to kind of hold it down and then just start... And I think the beauty of this is that you don't have to have all the same shade because it kind of kind of is light and dark and I, I think it looks it will look cool that way just to sort of um, give you a different look, right? So some areas lighter, some areas darker. It gives it more dimension, I think. So there we go. So I have it a little darker over here lighter over here. I'm going to add a little more here. There we go. So, ta-da! I'm going to stop at that. And then I'm going to pull this up. And you'll see how cool it looks. And then you would wipe this off because now obviously it has Tahitian Tide on it. So before you want, would want to use another color over it. So here's my paper. Kind of cool. Now, let's try the double up. That's what I wanted to do. So here's my other mask. And I can, you can, I don't know, you probably can't see as well there. Let me tape it down, then I'll lift it up. I can kind of see where I'm going right around where the flowers would be. So because the blue is a little bit darker, I'm going to use a darker color for my flowers because it's going to be laying over that so you can make some really interesting let me see if i lift this up so can you see how it's the the plastic brown is kind of going framing in my little flowers there hello judy judy this would be a fun thing for you to do it's really it's real simple and it's just fun and it it make you can make some beautiful your own dsp pretty much is what you're doing Oopsie daisy, something fell. Um, okay, so for my flowers, let's see here. What do I have? That's fresh freesia. I think I want something a little bit darker. Uh, we could go with, mm, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's pick a color. What else do I have here? Oh, here. This is what I have. I have Highland Heather right here on my desk. So let's do the Highland Heather for our flowers and see how that looks. This is experimenting. I don't know what this is going to turn out to be, so bear with me. Let's, let's give it a try. And again, I'm just kind of going to go over light and dark and I'm not covering everything. I'm just sort of going over some of it. So you get that kind of mottled look. There. Let's just do part of it because then we'll try one of the other ones. So here we go. Drum roll, please. Ta da! Well, that's kind of cool. So here we go. Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? It's really fun. <laughs> it's a really fun technique. All right, let's get some totally different colors. That is pretty DSP. Now, the thing is, right, when you're doing this in class or if you're doing this for not, they're never going to look exactly the same. So keep that in mind when you're, if you do this in class or you're telling people, it's all going to be unique and beautiful. And now I'll have to, next week I'll have to show you something I made with this one. So let's put that down. We'll put another one down here. There we go. All right, so let's try, let's try this plaid. So again, I'm just, I'm kind of lining up to have it even around here, around my paper. Let's see here. I might have to have one of these for class. I, I got to get it together here. 
So, okay. So we're going to do a plaid. So let's go... Um, I have Bermuda Bay. That's what I had picked up before. Let's try that. I haven't used that color in a while. So then it's time to use that. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay. Okay. So again, you're just taking your brush. I use the same color for each one. I mark mine. Um, I don't know. They said you can wash them. I just have never done that. I Okay. So that's kind of pretty. I love this color. I tend to go this way, I guess, and uh, I should try to do it a little bit different here. So I have it all. I like the modeled look, so it's not solid everywhere. But it, certainly if you wanted it, you could, you know, go over it and have it solid everywhere. Maybe I want a harder edge here on the sides, on the very edge here. This one I put on a little darker. Okay. There's still some light parts, but... All right, so that's Bermuda Bay. Let's pick another color to go with it. So I'm going to peel this one off. And then we're going to put on the big check. The big check. There we go. Ta-da! Put that over there. So cool, right? That's pretty. That's pretty alone, just like that. But my thing was I wanted to see how it worked doubling them up. So here's the big check. So I'm just sort of placing it in the center of my squares. Kind of, kind of, sort of. There we go. I'll look at the middle one. That should be. Now we're going to put this down. I'm using my washi tape to hold it in place while I play. You can sit and do like a bunch of them and then do your cards, you know, do up, do up your cards. There we go. So I have it all over me. So what should we put with the Bermuda Bay? I'm thinking, oh, because it's going to cover all of that. You're going to have, the white is going to be, yeah, it's going to go right over all these colors. Let's do Night of Navy. Let's mix and match our blues. So Night of Navy from the Neutrals collection. Bermuda Bay from the Brights. Let's see what we come up with here. Okay. I don't know. Whoopsie daisy. I moved my paper a little bit. I don't want to do that. Maybe this is a little too dark, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. It makes it look purple. Okay. Uh, maybe we should have tried just going around the edges or something. But let's take it off and see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, it's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. This would be good for a man card. Ta-da. What do you think? Hello, Bryn. That's sort of fun. All right. Now, um, the other ones that we have in here, I told you are for, and I'm using white on here just so you, it shows up against the vanilla here. This alone will be kind of a cool <laughs> spot. So the other ones are mat, like for masking mats. So if you were going to put, um, you know, your a verse or something up here and you wanted a soft background behind it, a soft color, let's close this up. Let's go with, let's go with the Fresh Freesia. Something really, really soft to go in here. Maybe I should use the fancier one with the Fresh Freesia. Let's do that. I'm just going to turn that around. And I'm just kind of centering it. I'm looking through the paper and just kind of centering it top and bottom, side to side. 
and I'm gonna hold it here. And if you, well, let's do this. I think to hold this kind of in place without moving it, you have this opening here for the other shape. Let's do this. Let's take a piece of post-it note and I'm gonna put it right across here just because I wanna hold that mat in place. Ooh, I almost picked up the wrong color. Okay, so I'm gonna start off the mat or off the paper here and just kind of go around. I'm gonna leave the center highlighted. But you see, I'm, I'm rubbing onto the plastic too. I'm not going over, um, over the paper completely. I'm leaving that center so it kind of highlights your words, right? So, Ta-da! You get kind of a hard line by doing it that way. That's sort of fun. All right, let's use the other side. I'm gonna put that over here. And I'm just gonna wipe this off real quick so I can use the other shape. I'm just taking a wet wipe and just wiping this real fast to get the fresh freesia off of there. Ta-da! thought I had a paper towel here, but my jeans will work also. There we go. <laughs> just wiped it off on my jeans. It's just water. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm just going to put the other words up here. I'm going to take this, put it across here again, just to hold that in place. We'll get a different color versus... The fresh freesia. Fresh freesia. That's just fun to say. Okay, so you could do another over the top of this. So we could go with a darker color or some neutrals. What do I have here? I have garden green. Oh, here. My other new favorite. Uh, oh, here. Granny apple. It's not new, it's, but it's a favorite. Let's do a green one. Any apple green. And this time I'm just going to go right down the center. I'm starting off, but I'm going to go from this side down. So I'm going to get it darker here and kind of do that ombre. Sort of an ombre look, right? Darker here, and the further I go over, the lighter it gets. So to give it a kind of a different dimension. A little more effort there. If you want to keep, just keep going in circles so you don't get any lines. It just kind of looks darker to lighter. Sort of fun. There we go. Ta-da. Let's see how it looks when we lift this up. Ta-da! Kind of cool. That's fun. So you could use it either any way, depending on what you're doing with it. Kind of fun. Well, there you go. So that is the decorative, artistic mix decorative mats is what they're called. And they are, you get all those mats, They're ten, it's $10, but they're quite heavy um, plastic. And so I think that you would get um, a lot of use out of them. You can also use them with the paste that we have. Um, I, I love the brushes because to me, it, it's fun, it's easy. Um, let's put some of these out here so you can see them all. See all the pretty masks. Whoopsie daisy, my butterflies just fell. There we go, here's another one. There, ta-da. And we could do one of those. Um, I was interested in doing the check plain, just the check. Here we go. Let me just wipe this off a little bit. We'll see what the, in a neutral color. I think it would look really nice on a man card. We do have some great new man sets coming. So I was really 
happy with some of the ones we have. Today I was playing with the Hostess set. So I'll show you. I could show you a quick card. that You'll see more of them tomorrow when I come on after the open house. And I'll show you all of them that, that I did. So each of the, I think I had nine or ten sets here already. And I played with all of them. So I have three cards for each of those nine sets. At least three cards. The tea set you saw, I have a little more. Apparently that's a favorite. <laughs> I'm going to go this way. Okay. I'm just going to put this one down again. And I want to do a... Let's see here. I want to do kind of a neutral... Where should I go? Here. Oops, come on up. I'm lining up the edge here, I think. This edge lines up. There we go. Good enough. Let's try this. I have a Sahara sand here, and I think it would make a nice, soft um, background. I love Sahara sand. Here we go. Some of the newer papers, elegant, the elegant ones use the Sahara sand. I'm going to move this over just a little this way. There we go. Okay, let's give it a try. Give it a try. See what it's going to look like to make a really soft background. I didn't buy that new tool set, but there is a new man set with tools, which I think is really cool. And then on my other one, I used uh, three different colors when I put it on there. So I should use another color just to show you how that looks. And it just sort of blends together. It looks really neat where they come together. So here's Sahara Sand. What should we put with it? We'll put it, oopsie, put a color with it. Now I have to move it. I got too excited. Oops. Well, you can certainly see if you don't have it lined up exactly right. You can see where you're going. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go one more at the bottom here. And then I'm going to bring another color in on the top so you can see how cool that looks. All right. What other color should we bring in? What's this one? Pool party. Let's do some pool party. I'm just pulling my what's on my desk here, <laughs> all my little brushes. Okay, I'm going to hold on to the paper this time. Keep brushing around, you're picking up color. And I'm going over it lightly where they go together and so they'll just sort of blend. I am going to go all the way up, though. There we go. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see what I'm going to have to play with. Show you something next week. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? <laughs> there we go. What do you think? It's kind of fun. Yeah. All the different colors. Can you grab me the one that I, oh, you already haven't put away, the one that I used the mat on. I think that was the bottle set. The bottle set. Ta-da. That is party. So, let's see here. Thank you. So here is one of them that I did where I used the three colors. I had purple. I ended up putting this piece on, but I have the purple, granny apple green, and Tahitian Tide. And I used that first one that I did. Doesn't that look cool? Ta-da. All the bright colors. These are the new shakers. And then I have a little message in the bottle. So I did a little bit of uh, that. I'll have to show you when we work on that one. I'll show you um, how I did the little message. So, that's it. I am going to turn the camera around. Here we go. Close your eyes if this bothers you. I'm coming back. Okie dokie. So, I hope you had fun. This is a really neat thing. It's one of those things that sometimes you overlook in the catalogs. 
um, or if you played with it before and you know weren't sure about it they're pretty heavy duty they're lots of fun you can create whatever color you want whatever your favorite colors are works great so thank you so much y'all i will be back tomorrow after one o'clock and um depends on when we end but i will come back and show you everything from the open house so thank you take care have a good evening bye bye